Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Clifton Cameras. I'm Fee, and today we're talking to you about the Nikon P950. So the P950 sits nicely in between its predecessor, the P900, and its bigger brother, the P1000. But what Nikon have done is taken a lot of the high-end features of the P1000 and put them into a much smaller, lighter, more compact system. One of the noticeable differences between the P1000 and the P950 is the focal range. So in the 35mm equivalent, the P1000 is 24mm to 3000mm, whereas the P950 is 24 to 2000mm but you're not really missing out on too much with that slightly shorter focal range. It's still perfect for birders and wildlife photographers. And to prove that point, we took the camera over to the International Center for Birds of Prey in Newent in Gloucestershire to really put this camera to the test. Now the P950 has a dynamic fine zoom which takes you up to 4000mm and the 35mm equivalent. Now this just gets you that a bit closer to your subject to maybe help you identify the animal or the bird that you're currently looking at. Now when it comes to shooting images at those longer focal lengths at the 2000mm that the P950 can offer, you might not have a tripod with you to help keep steady and keep those images sharp. So that's where the VR, the vibration reduction and the optical image stabilization really comes in handy. It just means that you're able to take those shots at 2000 mil and also maintain that nice sharp and crisp image quality. So we also took the P950 to Gloucester Cathedral to test the, uh, the complete range of the focal length. So we took a few pictures at 24mm um, and also straight through to 2000mm, all handheld. And you can really see in these images that there is really no loss in image quality and sharpness when you're going through the complete focal range. One of the features that the P950 has over its predecessor, the P900, is the introduction of the hot shoe mount. Now in photography terms, this means that you can mount a dot sight so that you can help track your subject at those longer focal lengths. Uh, it means that you can mount a speed light to help you out in those lower light situations. But it also means that you can now mount a microphone to the camera to assist you with getting really good quality audio when you're filming. Now one of the other upgrades that the P950 has and that it's inherited from the P1000 is the ability to record 4K footage. Now it can do this at 25p and 30p while still being able to record 60p at full HD. The P950 shooting modes have also seen a fair few changes. If you're into your moon photography then the introduction of the moon mode is a fantastic feature to help you get clear quality images of the moon. It also has a bird watching mode and now supports the um, capability of shooting in RAW which means that you can do more with your images in post-processing. The P950 also shoots 7 frames per second which tops out at around 10 images and can also allow you to shoot macro with a minimal shooting distance of 1 centimeter. So who is the P950 for? Well, really it's for the wildlife, outdoorsy, birding photographer or someone that's perhaps looking for that all-round camera. The very fact that you can shoot the 35mm equivalent of 24 to 2000mm all in one portable camera system is really handy. Couple that with the fact that you can also shoot 4K footage, then the P950 really does offer that versatility and flexibility. As long as you can see past the very fact that it's maybe not the most compact camera on the market, then the P950 is a great choice for the all-rounder or the wildlife and birding photographer. Thanks for watching. As ever, if you've got any questions or queries on the camera, please feel free to pop them in the comments below or head over to our website, cliftoncameras.co.uk, where you can contact us there and read more about the P950. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell to make sure that you get notified whenever we put a new video out. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the next video.